energy update and upgrade i'm still not sure what this is called maybe it's a new earth energy as we are now the bridge to new earth as a name we have been that for a long time it's quite exciting to to share with you here and the energy is really very exciting you may have already listened to the meditation on Tuesday and you're aware of this amazing silver gate portal so Aldebaran very difficult for me to pronounce one of the royal stars of Persia is actually in conjunction with the Sun and that makes basically that silver star portal and for quite a few astrologers it's a phenomena it's it's quite an amazing energy as Aldebaran is, is, a, is a star of enlightenment and fortune and expansion and all of that and of course the Sun is really strengthening that it's also about bravery and courage that we really dare so I'm inviting you to just dance in that portal and if you haven't done it yet please go back to the meditation so that you can get that activation with the light language and flutes and all of that so this is one thing and this occurs usually between the 28th of May and the 30th but really it's the energy of it is going into June and this is how I am still talking about that today on the 1st of June 1st of June for you because I'm recording this a little bit earlier the second energy that I really want to pay attention to is actually Gemini in Jupiter and this is important it's the beginning of it so it's not the sun in, sun is also in, in, in gemini now of course but this is about jupiter in gemini and this is a 12 year cycle and jupiter as you know is all about expansion and again a lot of fortune and abundance and all that good stuff and gemini has very interesting aspects one is of course it's an air sign it's mental it's full of ideas it doesn't have any limitations it's connecting easily it it's more than communication Mer mercury is obviously also connected to to gemini and it's just one of those really lovely bubbly signs full of ideas and inventions and out of the box and this is interesting because a friend of mine we spoke to a couple of days ago she said Patrick you need to do something out of the box and here comes Gemini in Jupiter and the nice thing is that that, that we actually have now a whole year to explore I want to say the spirit of Gemini that freedom that traveling that openness that enjoying our own out of the box as much as out of the box of others and coming from communication and philosophy it's that dialogue it's a dance it's not a discussion i want you to agree with me or i show you that i have the best way of thinking no this is totally out of the box it's it's airy it is able to to change things quickly it can also do more things at the same time what we maybe consider multitasking and we're coming actually out of jupiter in in Taurus where everything had to be in order and grounded and real and all of that and now we're kind of jumping out of this so this is this is very interesting and of course we're coming from earth of course we love Taurus because Taurus is enabling us to ground to connect to the earth to do a lot of things very methodically and, and properly and of course it has the goddess sign right it's it's it has a beautiful beautiful energy but now gemini so if we're looking from aries is the birth the new birth that we have every year and then we're earthing it we're manifesting it we're organizing it we're doing all these lovely things in taurus and now gemini has come to allow us to explore and to express and i'm really encouraging you to to do that because it's it's great when we start to truly dance with these energies that are coming through and as i've mentioned many times this is an unprecedented time we've never had these energies so i'm really inviting you to to dance and of course gemini being twins 
um, they're a bit naughty and they are still in harmony even though they're different. On another level, and this is equally important, this is where the Lemurian guides keep on coming in, the other point of the Gemini is actually that it one one twin is the immortal and the other one is the mortal. So in other words, one is the physical experience, the human, and the other one is the soul, the spirit, the source, whatever you want to call it, the beingness. And so we are dancing here. Again, I feel it's a, it's a beautiful year of dancing, birthing your new ideas. Don't be limited. If it doesn't work, you can always do something new, but it doesn't mean you shouldn't stick with it sometimes. So sometimes Gemini gives up too early. Gemini says, ah, I'm not interested anymore. Be aware of this and see it through. Maybe not everything that comes, but if you feel really in your heart this is important, allow yourself to see it through. You don't have to be flaky or not serious about it. But in any case, the energies are really, really amazing and I'm inviting you to enjoy that. So this is the next week of our energies. Of course, there's much more coming up than at the end of next week on the 6th of June. We already have a new moon and I will talk more about that because it will be another Saturday. And so what is happening in Sonkos Worlds, what is happening with the Bridge to New Earth and Sonic Sonkos. Yes, we still exist. We just don't call the channel Sonic Sonkos. What is happening here? Well, I'm talking to you, I'm recording this on Monday. So we're still a couple of days ahead and uh, away from Saturday. And we are in the process. And by the time you reach, you get this update and upgrade, you will have already seen that we launched our retreat season. So this is one of the most exciting things for us. And it's very much in, in that flow, in that spirit of Jupiter in Gemini. And of course, we have also appreciated the beautiful Silver Gate portal. As things don't have to be so difficult and so hard as they can be with Taurus. We dare now to say, well, these 12 people that we're looking for in three different retreats with four each in Sicily, they actually can come by mid, mid or end June. And the same, these eight people that can come to Jamaica, to Treasure Beach at the beautiful Rainbow Tree Villa, real treat, private beach. It's out of this world. And of course, Ceci and I are going to make it even more amazing. So we are, we're really putting it out there so that those of you who are these 12 or 8 people, you will really feel it. And we're even very um, keen on maybe putting another one in, in Jamaica in the Blue Mountains, one of my favorite places. And of course, this is where the first retreat that I have ever facilitated and created. I actually did up there and this is now 12, 13 years ago. So it's, no, it's not 12, it's 10, 14 years ago. Sometimes I get lost in numbers, but it's okay. And so it's quite exciting. So possibly the last one will, in, will be in the Blue Mountains. And that's a treat on its own. Similar kind of setting, a villa, their staff, we buy the organic veggies from the, re from the region and we make sure you're going to be spoiled. Apart from, of course, learning how to dance with your heart fire into yourself. Yes, this is all about the self-exploration, the self-expression. And so we have that for a whole year. So I'm just realizing I don't know these things before because I'm not an astrologer. And it's not about predictive. It's about dancing to these energies. So that dance with your heart fire to yourself is the perfect, perfect retreat for this time. But this is not all because what we are doing, and this is again very funny. So Gemini and Jupiter is all about making connections, you know, being a little bit more open, coming out of the shell and out of the closet that we sometimes enjoy here because it's so beautiful. 
we also have a local representation now. So while we have sometimes occasionally offered our retreats, we're actually putting it out now. Um, maybe by the time you listen to this, we already have been to Terrapoto and shared with some of our friends and contacts and open to make more that actually we're available June, July, because in August we're traveling, um, to do the retreats as it flows. And here in Lamas, we do the retreats from one person. There's two rooms up there, and very easily to have one or two. If you're a couple, you can of course come as a couple. And we're offering, of course, the hard fire. But in addition, we do the silent retreats, a shorter and a longer version. We are offering also the new one, The Power of Conscious Choice to Your Vitality, which is a lot about finding out actually what's stopping me from being vital, what is out of sync, how do I dance to these rhythms. And again, I feel this is the year. I mean, wh what is a better time to really learn about your vitality and explore something new than right now? And I'm not even referring to our Aquarius and all the other magic that is occurring. So I told you about, of course, the hard fire that's also available here. And here it's very easy. You find out our brochure somewhere or you hear me now. You send us a message and we see if it's a match. And very fast we can actually get started in four days, meaning we prepare everything and see if it's available and then you roll. So I've told you the hard fire will be here as well. The silent retreats can be from three days, two nights or longer, as I said. The conscious choice is usually for a weekend. So here we're also happy to get the people from Lima. And we have the Beyond Monarchy again. It's been some time that we have really offered the Monarchy, but it's time again. And this is a three night, four days beautiful retreat where you really get initiated in these beautiful rites of the Keros, including, of course, the rite of the womb that Ceci gives and I support, and our own new ascension rites where you get really initiated into your ascension archetypes that are unique to you. So again, what we do here is usually one or two, can be three, can be four, but that's the max because that's as much space we have up there. And we actually enjoy when you have your own space. And the last one is for those who have been maybe struggling for some time with mental disease, men mental disease, no, mental, <laughs> mental health, with emotional health and just don't know how to get out of it. And we're offering here that you come for a weekend or whatever. And we work on this from another perspective, with nature, with sound, with all the magic that we have. So this is happening and this is the most exciting thing of all. And by the time you listen to that, we're either facilitating or finished facilitating our webinar with the spirit animals as an ally for evolutionary leaders. And this webinar series is not finished because our dear friends, Liz, Terry and Michelle Senegal, they still have two workshops or se uh, webinars to go in this series. So yes, that's the most exciting thing going on for us. And yeah, I'm just very clear. Those who need to be in whatever retreat, whether it's in Sicily or in Jamaica or here with us in Lamas, I know that you hear us this time because the energy is perfect and we can connect on the internet, but yet beyond it. So wishing you a great day. Enjoy these beautiful energies, the, the Silver Gate portal, and enjoy this beginning of the year of Jupiter in Gemini. Because let me tell you, it's a treat. And I promise you, we will all love it. And maybe this is the, the energy that partially helps us to stay calm and collected through the storms that are still happening in the crazy world. So for today, much love from my heart to yours.